Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we're talking about a 2006 film that is getting a delayed sequel that's coming out right before this U.S. election. We're of course in the middle of election season here. We're only one month away to vote for the new president of the United States, which could be the incumbent. It could be the old president, Donald Trump, winning re-election, or it very well could be Joseph Biden, the old man, the old guy who could barely get his diapers on to go to debates and go out and see the people that he wants to vote for him. So we're in the middle of election season and I found a very interesting article about a new sequel to the famous 2006 film called Borat. Borat of course was a famous character played by Sasha Baron Cohen and people probably remember this movie a lot if you were around and of age back then. I personally remember 2006 because I was in college at this time and I remember the film premiered at our school early on because they used to premiere movies. They probably still do. They premiere these movies and give them a little demo at colleges to see if people like them before they're initially released to the public at large. And that happened with Borat when I was in the university. And it also was a cultural phenomenon. You can't overstate how big of a deal Borat was. It's kind of actually old school now. And I know the quotes can kind of seem dated. You say something like, ah, all right, very nice, very nice. Basically, Borat is this kind of foreign character, this kind of like Eastern European, maybe like Middle Eastern kind of character. He's kind of like nondescript nationality. And essentially, it's used by this comic to make fun of stuff and also it gets political a little bit like not too much but it's kind of about like international affairs it's about other countries it's about like the differences between them and us and it was just a really famous comedy from 2006 like I said those quotes are like pretty overdone at this point they were like the biggest thing ever when this movie came out it was like super huge so I wanted to stress that in this intro and then talk about the sequel some more because the sequel is sounding like it's going to be disappointing disappointing and it seems like the creator has kind of jumped the shark. It says Borat sequel with Pence name and title to be released before 2020 election by Amazon. So there's a lot of red flags here. First of all, it's specifically going after Mike Pence, which indirectly is going after President Trump and the Republicans. Now that's something I don't remember from the original Borat. I might have to refresh myself. I'm sure they might have mentioned George Bush or the administration at the time, but this already seems like it's getting way more political and way more woke. That wouldn't surprise me either since the actor Sasha Baron Cohen has been known to have some bad quotes recently. He's been bashing Trump and getting totally woke like the rest of Hollywood. So that's already a bad sign. And then there's the timing of this, the timing. It's coming out right before the 2020 election. I mean, that's cool. That's soon. You can see why they want to capitalize on the current event. But it really, to me, seems like they're trying to sway the election. They're trying to get in there and be political and kind of like make Pence and Trump look stupid so that people won't vote for them, that kind of thing. It seems politically motivated, which isn't a good sign for comedy. It's not a good sign for the Borat series. Like this was a very funny series that, again, wasn't that political before. It definitely referenced stuff. It definitely goofed on Bush and I'm sure other politicians. But the fact that it's coming out like this right before the election too is a very interesting thing. And then on top of that, it's being released by Amazon, which is owned by Jeff Bezos, of course. He owns the Washington Post too. And he's just a very liberal guy. He uses his companies and his billions of dollars to try and influence things. And all this goes together. This is a bad, bad turn, a bad spin. It's a very poisonous pot that they're brewing here. And I'm curious where it's going to go. That's why I wanted to talk about it today and give you guys that background. And now we'll get to more of the story and the details. Borat is making his way back to a screen near you. And Vice President Mike Pence's name appears to be used in the title. Actor Sasha Baron Cohen is returning as the controversial character he played in the 2006 Borat Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. The original film, written and produced by Cohen, follows the titular character of Kazakh television personality as he explores America. Amazon plans to release the film before the 2020 presidential election. So there's a little more background about the film. Apparently he's from Kazakhstan. This is more like a country similar to like Afghanistan or something like that, close to Iran and those kinds of countries in the Middle East. And yeah, essentially it was a goof I think the skit actually came from his show. Sasha Baron Cohen had an Ali G show that had a couple other characters on it. He's a character actor. Very funny. I appreciate his acting. I used to enjoy these movies too, but as I said, he's been getting increasingly woke. It's super hard to watch and super disappointing. Like this is the trend with a lot of comics and a lot of media these days. This is another big issue with this story. It's just that comics keep getting more and more woke. They're getting more political and biased. They're not playing it safe or like, you know, they're not playing it 
down the middle or making fun of both sides. And yeah, you could see that this is a bad sign that this movie is going down the drain, possibly. I mean, it could still be good, but we're going to have to wait and see, I guess. The streaming giant confirmed Tuesday that it has acquired worldwide rights to the film. It is reportedly titled Borat Gift of Monkey to Vice Premier Mikhail Pence to make benefit recently diminished nation of Kazakhstan. So they're definitely referencing Mike Pence in there. They're getting the new long title. That's how Borat was originally. It's still going to be funny, I'm sure. It's kind of a long time. I guess they had to wait because it definitely got a little played out. Like I mentioned, the thing was so popular. The quotes from Borat was like going on and on and on. Like the my wife quote, he used to say, my wife. You know, he would say these quotes and people repeated them for over and over. And that goes to show the power of this enterprise, of this, you know, franchise. It's very popular. It's very, you know, hilarious at times, but also over the top. And I think they're kind of jumping the shark here and going way down the political rabbit hole. We'll see. The movie could still be funny. This could just be one joke in the movie, like how it was when they goofed on, say, George Bush or other political things in the original movie, but it's not looking good, especially since, you know, it's involved with Amazon. Reports have steadily accumulated about the project throughout the summer as it was filmed in secret during the pandemic. Cohen originated the character of Borat Sagadayev, a fictional Kazakh journalist on his series, The Ali G Show. The 2006 film directed by Larry Charles grossed $262 million worldwide and was nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay at the 79th Academy Awards. That's funny. I didn't know it was nominated for an award. The other thing worth mentioning here, there's a couple other headlines like this one says, Sasha Baron Cohen credits Donald Trump for Who is America. This was a show, like a failed show he tried to make. This was a big sign. I believe we talked about it in a video a few years back when it happened. And essentially, Sasha tried to make a new show and it got way too woke. It was like I was saying, with this movie. That's why I'm worried about this movie. It was just all about bashing America. The original Borat was more about, yeah, there were jokes about America. He was from this other country and he thought these kind of stereotypical things about Americans. And, you know, there were jokes in there, but it's gone further where it's just like, oh, he hates Trump. He hates America. He's not from here too. Like he's from, I think, Britain or something. He's like a foreigner who bashes on America like a little too much. Doesn't ever go after his country or talk about his affairs. He's like kind of more invested in the United States. The other article in headline I want to mention before moving on. Up here in the corner, it says, Sasha Baron Cohen uses Borat promotion to mock Donald Trump during debate. So the debate was a couple nights ago, and apparently he was bashing Trump. You know, it's just showing his bias. He's not a center player. He's not going after Biden as far as I could see. I don't see any references to him like going after Biden, who's definitely ripe for parody. I mean, this guy is a total joke. Biden is just falling apart every single day, and no one even wants to talk about it on the left. They act like he's a great candidate when he's really not. But uh, for more information, let's go on this one. This was from the debate. He uses the promotion to mock Trump. The actor released a video taking Trump to task on issues like the virus and race. So they're very much going after current events. It was filmed during the pandemic, as they said, in secret. So it's going to be topical. I'm very interested to see how it goes. Like, I'm very curious about this, but I don't have high hopes. Like I said, it's not looking good. It's looking like it's going to be woke as Sasha has gone more and more down this liberal rabbit hole. Sasha Baron Cohen took advantage of the attention the first presidential debate of 2020 attracted to lambast Donald Trump with a promotion for his new film. How original. Wow, he's really being edgy, siding with all of mainstream media and all the establishment to bash Trump. I mean, what happened to comics being edgy and different? These guys just go along with this stuff now. The outlandish stunt comic is forging ahead with a sequel to his 2006 comedy Borat. The film saw him star as a fictional journalist from Kazakhstan coming to the United States to see what the country is like. Deadline reported Tuesday that a sequel to the film will premiere at the end of October on Amazon Prime Video, just before the election. In an effort to drum up support for the new sequel, Cohen began a fake Twitter account for the Republic of Kazakhstan on September 27th. On the night of the debate, the account released a video mocking Trump as a favored candidate in the country. Congratulations to great friend of Kazakh people at Real Donald Trump for winning debate today. Impressive and amazing result for a strong premier who always put America and Kazakhstan first. So here's the video. I'm not sure if we could check it out. It might be some copyrights, but I think you guys get the point. He's making this account. He's bashing Trump. He's not really giving a lot of humor to it. Like he's just going political and anti Trump. And it's just like, you know, I'm not trying to be stiff here. Like I could take a few jokes. I've had some of my favorite comics make fun of Trump before. I wouldn't say Sasha Baron Cohen is one of my favorites. He's just a funny one and a very legendary one for the American zeitgeist for sure. But a lot of people don't like him too. A lot of people got sick of Borat or never liked it. Like I'm not trying to say it was like the end all be all, but in 2006, it was a pretty big deal. So now let's take a second and check out this video. It appears to be a voiceover with Borat in it too. So let's see how it sounds. He not racist. Black
black guys love him so much they kneel before him. Trump never had stroke. He protector of women's. He hero of war. Biden's breath so bad he forced to wear mask. Because of Trump, 350 million Americans still alive. Trump never had stroke. Okay, so some pretty weak attack pretending he had a stroke and there's something wrong with Trump. I mean, there's some humor in there. Like, I'm not totally against it. I'm not seeing it here. It's just a little taste. But I imagine his whole movie's gonna be like this, like a good part of it. I think it's gonna go down the woke rabbit hole and just get way too political. Deadline knows that the upcoming sequel was made very surreptitiously with Cohen scrambling to a team together to shoot as soon as the COVID restrictions were eased. Although he reportedly followed all the safety protocols in place, he took great pains to ensure that the movie was both done before the election and filmed in secret. So this was meant to be a surprise. That's a interesting way to go about it. Nothing wrong with that there, but I think this is going to be set up to be a disaster. I'm not sure. I hope it's funny. I don't know though, because Borat was already borderline like immature and stupid when it came out. But at that time, it was great for me. 14 years ago, I was in a different place though. I'm sure a lot of you might think differently. Borat probably sounds stupid to a lot of you. I just remember it from back in the day and I could see that Sasha Baron Cohen has has totally, totally just kind of ruined his franchises and his career. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell for notifications too. Until next time, have a great day.